morning guys hope you all had a great thanksgiving i did with my family um i've been trying to record this video for about three weeks now every time i seem to pick the camera up someone calls so we're going to try to start this again we are now on our way up to barbersville all the way up through benwood west virginia with a load of kias on behind us and uh and we're going to take these up there and what i want to talk about today is how to interview a trucking company whether it's car hauling or anybody else um how to interview them at the same time they're interviewing you because the key to uh, having a good working relationship with the company that you work for is to pick the right company and the thing is as most people don't think about it this way all at the same time they're interviewing you for the job you should be interviewing them for your skills and having the ability to ask the right questions and get the right answers to know whether it's going to be a good fit or not is something that you really should do before ever coming on to a company like United Road, Moore, or any of the other ones out there. These are going to be my personal uh, ways that I've interviewed, well, that I interviewed United Road before I came over here and the questions that I asked because I wanted, again, I wanted to make sure that they were going to fit the lifestyle that I wanted to live. And because they do, that's why I love it here. So see you guys on the road and we'll get into this. got late last night so wasn't able to record the uh well not even late it just uh got really dark early so i wasn't able to record the last bit of my delivery uh last night so this is my final drop here in benwood west virginia this is where that guy hit that other car uh in the last video so hopefully it doesn't happen again today and you'll see i will try to block off the entire uh parking lane or the, the entire lane again and hopefully no one comes up past me but um so the first thing that you want to do when you're getting when when you're looking for a new job whether it's in uh car hauling or any other trucking industry is going to be make sure that it is in a area that you want to work in and there's a lot of ups trucks here so this one's letting me through um make sure it's in an area that you want to work in make sure um whether it's going to be regional style operations or whether it's going to be local or long haul Make sure you're getting a job doing the end of the industry that you personally want to be involved in. Uh, the, the thought process there is if you want to be a local guy in home every night, getting a regional job like I run or a long haul job, is, is it's not going to work out for you. And at the end of the day, it's just going to eat at you and make you mad throughout the year so then you're going to be one of those employees that just gets aggravated about the job and about your position and what you have to do and you're going to end up resenting the company and doing that in and of itself is going to be something that 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 is going to make you despise the company that you work for so that's why I say you really want to find the end of the industry that you want to be in. So what the type of things that I would be asking if it was me personally, like I did when I got hired, is where do you guys haul? Um, 
the yard that they're looking at putting you in, is this a local, regional, or long haul uh, position? And and you you want it to be, um, I guess, like I said, what what you're looking for in general. Um, I I asked the the big things for me is not only where did these loads out of the terminal that you're looking at putting me in go to, but what are the back hauls to get me back to that terminal? Or, or what's the round robin style run? Like uh, West Point, for example, we run into Texas, Oklahoma, um, Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. That is the main areas that we haul to out of West Point. And if you're hauling into Oklahoma or Texas, it's it's more of a round robin style run. You're gonna do one load a week out of West Point, and and this this is the way it was explained to me. You're if you run into Texas, they may have work getting you straight back. A lot of times you're gonna grab work up to Kansas City. If you run into Oklahoma, you're most likely going to be deadheading to Kansas City. Then you're gonna be grabbing Fords out of Kansas City back into Tennessee. And from Tennessee, you're going to be grabbing GMs, uh, Nissans, or if you're over going towards the Memphis, Mississippi area, you're going to be grabbing uh, Toyotas out of Tupelo, Mississippi, running back t towards uh, East Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina area to get you back into your next round through West Point. That is a very regional position. Um that, that West Point is. A that, that little bit of uh, short haul majority is going to be a regional style job. We don't have any long haul out of West Point for the most part. I mean, longest runs you're going to have in a single direction is probably going to be about 900 miles. So, therefore, you it, it's a regional position, which is something that I wanted. Originally, they wanted to hire me and my father up in uh, Marysville, Ohio, but the problem is they don't have a lot of work to get me home, and the first thing the terminal manager said was, do you have a problem being out two to three weeks at a time, and we both just flat said no, that United Road won't be the fit for us if that is the way that yard has to run, and that's where we have to be hired, then yeah, that, that would be the cutoff, but uh, let's, let's go get unloaded, and I'll get you guys with the next part of... Uh, questions you should be asking in just a second. making our deliveries on this Chrysler load. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll load it up here in just a minute when we get into uh, the dealership. But, uh, all right, so the number two thing that you're going to really want to ask is going to be what they estimate you're going to be able to make. Um, and, and, try, and try to be as honest with them as you can be. Are you an eight-hour-a-day driver? Or are you running your clock to the bare minute, or last minute, like I do every single day, and and try to get every ounce of profitability you can out of that truck? Try to describe what you're looking, how how you want to run. And by doing that, ask them like like what what can I expect to make here in in a range? Tell them. Look, I, th this is all the equipment that I've run before. It normally takes me 45 minutes to an hour to load. It takes me roughly 30 minutes to unload. So based on that information, what can I make? 
And they should be able to tell you. A, a good dispatcher or terminal manager that knows their own yard is going to be able to answer those questions. And if they can, really, I'd start questioning, uh, I guess, <laughs> how good they are at their job. Um, hate to be like that, but that is about where I would start uh, start to go, wait a second, if you don't know these answers, how can I expect you to uh, provide me with the best loads possible? I guess my street's just past this light here. Um, so that that's kind of you're going to be question number two to, to ask. And then question number three is going to be, what kind of equipment do you have? Um, is it is the equipment that you're familiar with? Or is it going to be something that's new to you that you've never used before? And if it's something that you've never used before, is it something you're going to be able to learn? And that's something you got to ask yourself. So um, for the most part, I see here at United Road are the CX-6 trailers. Those uh, are the, kind of like the quick load stacker style, the front deck tilts, and then you got a pivoting rear deck. Um, obviously the quick loaders, 75 and 80 footers and high rails. It seems to be what I see all the time here. Um, I haven't seen much of anything different, but the, that's kind of the equipment that you're going to need to know, um, how to use. And then also, are you completely against being in hotels? So you have to have a day cat, I mean, a, uh, a sleeper or, are you completely against staying in a sleeper and you have to have a day cab? That's stuff you want to ask and talk to the terminal about because, you again, you being happy is almost as important or you being happy is just as important as them being happy with you. If you're happy out here, then, then it's not going to be as bad of a job to, to do and you're not going to get upset with it. And then uh, lastly is going to be home time. What what kind of home time can you expect? Are they a terminal that gets you home? Or are they a terminal that leaves you out there running a lot? So th those are just kind of the questions that you you need to be asking yourself and, and find out if that is something you're going to be okay with dealing with. So I was told I'm delivering into the stone lot. So let's jump outside real quick and uh, go ahead and start unloading. See so you guys All out right. there. So this is the load that we got on. Um, these two go to my last delivery. Those three Jeeps across the top, they go to my next delivery. And then this Cherokee, a Grand Cherokee comes here. Um, I just parked it there because I did pull forward with it. And the... Uh, the doors were opening into that rail, so I just backed it up and so I could get in between the two right there. That's the only reason I parked that Jeep there. Other than that, very, very, very simple load. Got a Durango Grand Wagoneer, obviously three uh, Jeep Wranglers and the Grand Cherokee down here. So we are going to get this thing offloaded real quick and uh, head on over to our next dealership. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Getting down here to our second from last dealership that we got to deliver to. It's uh, this Thompson Chrysler here. And we got to drop the, those three Jeeps off. Uh, blah, blah. We're dropping those three Jeeps off here. And obviously, you guys can tell it's starting to get dark. So I am going to cut this one off. I won't be showing you guys the last delivery unless we end up doing that tomorrow morning, uh, depending on time wise. We'll see, uh, we'll see if we can get down there on today or not, but we'll find out in just a second. Alrighty guys, we are going to, uh, end this one here. I'm going to get these, uh, three Jeeps offloaded real quick. Um, I hope that information helps you guys out, especially with finding a trucking company to drive for. That is uh, kind of the tips that I had. If you
you have any questions, feel free to write me and ask. Other than that, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, go ahead and uh, use the links that I have down below. If, uh, if you guys want to join United Road, the application's down there. If you want to use the GetUpside app to get money back on all of your fuel purchases, that is down there in the links as well, um, as long with the credit card that I always use. That's the one that I use to take my family on vacation when we go off to Florida and uh, use those points to uh, buy Disney. So guys, I appreciate y'all watching, um, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Be safe out there.